Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stream of Consciousness. I'm your host, Cyrus. Everybody knows the story of the week is the billionaires in space. First, we had Richard Branson. Now we've got Jeff Bezos. Let's hear Whoopi Goldberg of The View try to explain it to you and fuck it up real badly. So, the billionaire behind Virgin Galactic, Richard Branson, made history yesterday when he blasted off into space, beating Amazon mogul Jeff Bezos into orbit by nine days. All right, let me stop you right there. <laughs> he didn't beat him into orbit. Neither one of them went into orbit. Orbit means that you went around the world. <laughs> That's not what happened. They went up, they came back down like a big cannon shot, you know, like Alan Shepard did when he first went into space. <laughs> the, the difference between going into orbit and what they did is like the difference between going across the ocean versus just sort of skimming along the shoreline, all right? <laughs> going into orbit is a major difference between going up and down again. Let's be fair to Whoopi, you know, she's had 24 hours. Let's give her another chance to try to get it right. This is her the following day on the show. Let's check it out. Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson just went where no billionaire has ever gone before on a spacecraft his company built to take him into orbit. And orbit. Yeah, it's neither one of those, you idiot. Stop it. <laughs> you had 24 hours to figure out it wasn't orbit or orbit, and you still got it wrong. Whatever. Let's go ahead and watch Jeff Bezos not go into either, but instead go up into space and come back down again without circling the world, without orbiting. Let's check it out. The launch is pretty cool. Totally worth the watch. Five, four, command engine start. Two, one. I'm not a space expert, but that max Q thing they're talking about is the area where the air basically thins out. So before that, there's all kinds of like buffeting and vibrations and you're pushing through thick air. But once you get through that, that's where the most dangerous part is basically is trying to get through max Q. So that's what they're talking about. Max Q. Max Q is confirmed. Beautiful burn on that BE3 engine. So pretty cool. Really love to watch that. Just wanted to make sure, though, that in all the excitement, people don't lose track of the fact that this is not the first time that somebody's gone to 100 kilometers in space or 50 kilometers like Branson did. We had this thing, Spaceship One, back in 2004 when it went into space, actually to a higher range than Bezos' thing did. This thing went up to like 115 or something, and Bezos was 107. So, you know, pretty impressive craft. It was funded by Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft, and it's just a pretty neat little deal. They built it so they could win something called the Ansari Prize, the Ansari X Prize here. It's funded by Hollywood actor Aziz Ansari. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's funded by this uh, multimillionaire Anushe Ansari and Amir Ansari, actually two Persian Americans. Pretty cool. She's actually a very accomplished engineer and business person and techie. So while she may not be a billionaire, she actually went into space herself. She's the first Iranian into space. She did it a little bit after her 40th birthday. And she's one of the first people to be self-funded to fly into space. She paid for her own trip to the International Space Station. So aside from that, look at her. She's gorgeous. Like everything going for her. It's like some sort of superhuman. So she's got a memoir called My Dream of Stars that's also done really well. And she's just an incredible person. I wanted to make sure we didn't lose track of the fact that we've already had somebody who paid their way into space on a private craft. They may not have built it themselves, but she did put up the money that convinced Paul Allen to build it. And then, you know, she rides up into the space station, not on that ship, but something else. Still pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> she went on the Soyuz TMA-9 mission. You can see it here. This is a Soyuz FG Russian rocket. We were paying for trips to the space station with the Russians. <laughs> Pretty cool looking little rocket though. Anyway, in all the excitement, let's keep our eye on one of the greatest women, one of the greatest Iranians, one of the greatest people to ever had anything to do with space.